Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today we're trying Clive and Wrench. This is a brand new 3D platforming game inspired by some of the retro games of the N64 and PlayStation era. Things like Banjo-Kazooie, Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper, it seems to be very similar to those kind of games where we run around, beat guys up, and jump all over the place. So it should be fun, these are some of my favorite kind of games, I grew up playing a lot of them, so let's get started with Clive and Wrench. Ooh, dark and spooky, nice. Who's this? Got a big robot arm. Whatever it is, it's, they're walking very slowly. <laughs> they got some blueprints in their hands. Ooh, it's so dramatic. Guess we're up to something. <laughs> this guy's having a good time. Matchsticks, oh, okay. They're selling them in the castle? Huh. Uh oh. Oh no! He lit them all on fire! That was just mean! Doesn't seem like a very nice guy then. The Flex Carburetor. What is that? Some kind of evil scheme? I guess they're also an evil scientist on top of being a pianist. Oh no. The next morning. Oh, we got our two heroes napping on the couch. Oh, they have their morning coffee. <laughs> Seems like a cool room though. Skateboard and stuff. Gotta grab a good breakfast. There you go. I'm a little confused on like what the, what this will have to do with our adventure, but guess you gotta start your day off right, anyways. Uh oh. What's wrong? Oh, I guess because the picture's broken. Was that where the blueprints were? Maybe. So maybe they were stolen. In the big castle, that's what we just saw. Uh oh, who else got hurt, are you okay? Aw. This one's still sleeping. So I think this is Clive and the Little Monkey's Wrench. Oh, here we go. So the evil side just got the, the clock or something. Mm -hmm. well, we're following, we're following. They got the clock. Gotcha. And that makes the world explode. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, they're up to something. Whoa! Where where do they go? Oh, a helmet? Are they going to like different places in time? I think so. Let's just grab different artifacts. What is that? It's a video game. Whoa, a sarcophagus. Okay, they're doing a lot of crazy stuff. Oh, the fridge. What's wrong with the fridge? This is a long cutscene. Well, we're going in the fridge. Oh, so I guess it teleports us. Okay, quite the story so far. But I guess with that, we can get started with Clive and Wrench. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa, so it looks like we're sort of popping up in our first area. Is this the overworld? Whoa, this is so cool. All right, so here we are. So we're playing as Clive and Wrench right here. So I think, like I said before, Clive is like the bunny and the Wrench is the little monkey. Hi. This is Professor Nancy. Hey, you two. If you need to brush up on your advanced moves, check out the orientation room I've set up. Otherwise, onwards and upwards to the next area or era. So I guess we'll go into the orientation room to figure out how to play here, but just gotta jump up like this and orientation. Okay, so we're at a checkpoint. Uh, gaps like this can be cleared in a single leap. The longer you hold it down, the longer your, your jump lasts. So pretty simple, you can press the jump button to jump, and we have a double jump. Gotcha. And what is this one saying? If we build up a bit of speed by sprinting on all fours, L1, we can clear wide gaps like this in a single leap. So if we hold L1, whoa, that's so neat. Okay, I like it. So then we can combine that with a double jump and really get far. It looks like there's these little clock collectibles to find. I like the walls around here. It looks like a little testing area. And then we got like a super jump. Oh, that's very familiar to me from like Jack and Daxter. Okay, so what do we got to do there? I guess, oh, there's like a little spin move. We'll do that in a moment. What's up with this? Uh, Nancy's equipped our backpack with a watch detecting radar system. Activate a, a, it up button and it should point us to the nearest pocket watch. Oh, that's so useful. So if we're missing something, it'll help us find it. It's saying that there's more over here. Oh, there is. Get hidden back here. That's so neat. I guess I can break open that pod, grab these, and that should be all of them over here. So if we ever lose a couple, we need to find them. Pretty simple, we just do that. So for this one, I guess I want to jump, jump, and then square. There we go, we swing wrench around. Oh no, poor guy. There we go, there we go. Missed that one watch. I wanted to make sure we got it. And can we go under the water too? Uh, I want me to read this one really quickly. Some water is safe to swim in. Let's take a dip. We should be able to dive with square, swim forward with X, and then fast swim with L1. Careful though, I don't think either of us have gills. Okay, so this water, of course, we can go into, no problem. So we can dive down a little bit like that. Swim a little bit faster. It's another clock right there, or watch or whatever. Then we should just be able to hop out. Okay, what does this say over here? If I can get up there. Uh, we're gonna need to smash our way through this adventure, I reckon. Lucky for you, I'm both super stretchy and super strong. So whether there's an enemy, a watch pot, or whatever else, spin me into them as fast as you can with circle. See, like this, you can beat up the snowman too, no problem. Very cool. Got a couple more wrenches to get out of that. Okay, so I guess now we're trying to get across here. So this is where we can make some crazy jumps happen. Oh no, wrong button. That was not the spin button. I think it was square, not circle. Whoops. Oh yeah, pressing circle does some kind of attack. Gotcha. Oh, we gotta do it all over though. Luckily we don't sort of lose our progress with the watches out. We can get across super quick. So it seems like our characters move pretty efficiently. Here I need to duck and jump. And then we get across. Got it? Ooh, the more I play this, the more I'm liking the feel of it. Got it, got it, got it grab all these and then break this open. So is that everything? Nice job, I think we're ready for the real thing now. See if you can spot the vortex exit with first person mode. Okay, that could be useful. It's just in first person mode. We can look around to make sure we didn't miss anything. It's right down there. So I'll hop through. We'll get a, a couple more of these watches, I guess. Is it, were we supposed to be able to get every single one of them? I mean, it says there's 10,000 of them, so I guess not. Either way, we'll jump through and we'll go into an actual level. So which eras can we get into? Like this is middle age crisis. <laughs> I get the joke. We also have Bunny, I Shrunk the Chimp. I guess we could go into this one? Huh. Can run a little bit faster through this. Whoa, it's like a little bedroom. Oh, this is so cool. Is this supposed to be a different level though? I'm a little confused. Uh, What is that noise? Uh, Oh, the robots fired at me, oh no. <laughs> I didn't even see it in time. Okay, well this is really cool. I like the big bedroom levels. It was a Toy Story game I remember playing a lot growing up. That was really cool like this. Oh boy. Let's try to get up here. Got it. Oh, there's a game console on the shelf. Break that open for a couple more things. 
whole bunch of VHS tapes and everything. This is so cool. All right, can we get up here? We can. I don't know if there's anything really in here for like levels and stuff. This might be more of a bonus room, but we can get up and around pretty well. There's more enemies over here. Oh, they got me good there, but it's fine. We got a lot of stuff going on in the bed. Yeah, I don't see really, cause that says world totals. Hmm. I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself. Let's go into maybe some of the other eras first. And maybe we can come back into here later on. So very, very cool. So back over here, what do we wanna try? That was the, the, the one thing. Let's try just the middle age crisis then. Oh, will not let me? Okay, see, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Where am I supposed to go right now? What, what things do we need to meet requirements for? Because this one I need 450 clocks to get into. This is uh, the Great Wen. Is there any of these I can access just yet? It doesn't seem like that. So maybe I do have to go into the big bedroom and just explore around there a little bit more. Okay, well, we're heading back in. I definitely want to collect as many watches as possible then, because, whoa, what is this? I'm not sure. Uh, because they will help me unlock other levels, it seems. So just going through here, grabbing when I can. It's a very fun room, though. Lots of cool stuff in here. Can I get my way into here, I wonder? It doesn't look like it. Can't quite fit in. But I can, ah, not quite make it up there. We'll try from here again. There we go, much better. And then from this record player, is there anywhere I can jump? Not really looking like it. Oh, we can spin around on it though. Oh, I'm sort of stuck. There we go, whee. All right, so yeah, let's spin over here. Break that one open. I love hearing the, the, the sound of the old video game playing. And then we can get up here. We were on the other side before. <laughs> can just knock a bunch of stuff over. And I guess there might've been more. There's definitely some more stuff in this drawer, an extra controller. In case you have a buddy over. I think right up here, yeah, there's a couple of things we can reach that we couldn't before. Or at least we didn't before, we definitely could have. Gotcha. I don't think I've missed any. So I can hop down here. And I don't know if it's supposed to be one of those things where we can grab every single one of them, or if we shouldn't be worrying about it too much, but I do see some on the arm of this chair over here, so I'll grab that. Whoa. Oh, there's another one down this way. So we're up to 197 already. It's really not that bad. So I'm really curious, what's heading over here? Uh, whoa. I guess it's a whole different level, right? All right, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> we're just diving straight in. Oh, there's a bumblebee. I guess they might need help. Bonnie, I shrunk the chips. So maybe that was just the intro to the level. Now we're in the actual level. Whoa, okay. Hey, you found me. It looks like you don't need me to tell you that you can talk to people by pressing triangle. Oh, but be on the lookout for yellow striped poles. They're less slippery than most and can be climbed. Gotcha. Be careful, looks like enemies ahead. Some of them have patrol route, have a patrol route. Some can fly and others can fire projectiles. Almost all of them can be defeated with a quick spit attack that circle. So let's check out this one. So there's just little tips everywhere. Watches are a visual representation of the tears in space-time recklessly caused by Dr. Ro Dr. Dawkus? Simply pick them up to patch up the continuum. Grab enough of them and we'll be able to track Dawkus to another area. Gotcha, yes. so we'll definitely just try to get through this area for today's video at the least. But over here, we have a button we can press. Boom. Whoa, okay, and that already opened up something. What is that? Ancient stone fan. Has your mother sold her mangle? What, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> okay, over here we'll break that open, get a couple more watches, and I don't know if we can, you know, we can't quite go through that door. Maybe there's a way outside somewhere else. Hmm. But I guess maybe that's maybe sort of like the collectible a bit more, are these little ancient stones. Maybe the first, certainly not the last. These ancient stones are what I have to assume Dawkus is after. Supposedly, they possess great power, which in Dr. D's hands doesn't sound good. They should, however, come in handy for opening boss tours in the space between time. Ooh, gotcha. So we'll definitely have to get as many of these as we can manage. So far, so good. 
<laughs> I like it. So those are sort of more like power stars in Mario 64. That makes sense. What's with this crushed can? Would we crush it even more? I guess not, but... Oh, here you are. Come on. Gotcha! This game has a lot of, like, pizzazz to it so far, though. Got some extra food there. I think that's our health. Mmm, carrot cake. Feeling groggy? This should pep you back up to full health. Great, great. Alright, so I don't see too much more happening around here, except for a couple extra watches to grab. And then we'll try to... Oh, there's a little bumblebee. I guess he's on the cereal box. Huh, interesting. Alright then, so let's climb up here. So we need to do this little crouch jump again. Get up here, no problem. I think same thing for this. Oh, here you are. Hi. Hello there, young men. Can you help? I was teaching my kids to fly when my wing got damaged by that awful purple elixir. Please, if you can find them, can you let them know where I am? I can reward your kindness. Sure, I don't see any bumblebees around, but if so, I'll, I'll tell them. Got some chicken nuggies. Very cool. Uh-oh. These guys don't look friendly, but I'm able to hit them midair. That was cool. Whoa, <laughs> they're falling all over the place. Okay, so there's one of the bumblebees. How can I jump up there, though? Um, bit of a tricky jump. Oh, I guess just, oh no, from here. Hold on. Got it, got it. And one more time. There we go. Oh, bumblebee. Do I just collect you? Whoa, <laughs> there's one out of five. Plenty more to find, I'm sure. So, hopping back down the boxes. I guess we want to get back up there, though, because it seems like there's some other spots we can get to. Oh, there's another watch down here. So I'll grab that one. So there's 400 in this level to find. Oh, and some of them, I guess the coloring determines how many of them you get. So that purple one was actually 10, so that's really nice. Okay, let's get over here. Be sure to grab that. And right next to the bowling ball, we have a button to press. Oh, is this gonna knock it over? Uh-oh, watch out below. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna break open a vent, huh? Interesting. So have to go find that, but right now, <laughs> there's us in a pirate world. Maybe that's a later level or something? That'd be cool. Okay, gonna grab a couple of those. And then I definitely wanna get on top of the fridge. A lot of dust up here, but there's also another mobile bee to find. Oh, there's still so much more to do in this kitchen. So we'll get into that vent soon enough. But I guess for now, there might be other things to worry about like that, and then I can just, I don't know, I guess I gotta get to that first. Jump, jump, and then start spinning. There we go. <laughs> so they've played a good duo so far. And I can try to get over here and just fall like that with an open pizza box. Okay, this is not safe. We got the open flames on the, on the oven. Oh, please be careful. Okay, get rid of you real quick and let's talk this. Careful, environmental hazards are everywhere. Fire can burn, who knew? All right, well, we actually just got past that part. I guess I might be doing this a little bit backwards. But, can get some of that. And then there was a little bit more over here. Uh, hey! Ah, oh, he knocked me off. That is not what I wanted. I'll have to get back up there. <laughs> they bounce around everywhere. I guess from here, but we can interact with this toaster. Whoa! And that'll give us another little stone thing. Whatever it's called, the ancient stone found the mailered reaction. Okay, so I do see one right there, and then I think from this we could jump up. Yeah, no problem. Maybe now's a good time then to go into the vent because I feel like we've, we've cleared out everything else around here pretty well. So right over here, we can get a key. Careful, some enemies are sneaky. You can normally figure out when they're near from audio or context clues. All right, well that's good. I don't really hear too much right now. I mean, I hear some stuff. Ah, there you go. Spiders are on the corner. Uh-oh. Can I break this open? Oh no, that hurts. Just gotta watch out for those. Maybe now's a good time to run and I get another bee. Okay, I'm on one hit point of health left. I need to be really careful here. Okay, back up to the living room up here. Got it. And another stone. That one was pretty simple. Ancient stone found so far, so good. <laughs> so it's like so far. Here's a checkpoint. Hey, it's me, Miss State the Obvious. These checkpoints will save your location in space time just in case you meet your ultimate, hold our untimely fate. All right, very cool. Got more robots waiting for us over here. We're down to one health, so we definitely have to be careful about that untimely fate part. Over here, I do see another creepy spider. Oh, gotcha, good. All right. We're almost halfway there with all these watches, too. So I guess I will. Up this way, 
and another button to press. Did that work? Oh, it's back in the, huh. So that was right down this way, right? That was just right where we came from, in here. Gotta be careful of that, but now I can go in this way and there's a couple more things to find. An extra 10 there and I guess we're falling. Wait, wait, oh no. Come on, let's grab that. There we go. Ooh. So many different places to fall here. I just wanna make sure that I don't miss anything. Okay, I might've missed something. We'll get ourselves another key. There we go, I got it. Luckily there's a pretty big range where we can sort of pick them up. Very cool, very cool. And I guess we'll grab this, see what's going on over here. How on earth? Looks like my little brother Snatcher has stowed away with someone. My readings show he's between eras though, so a quick whack should send him home. Where is he? Oh, is he did the one speeding around really, really fast? Oh man, look at him go. Okay, so it looks like he's going in a circle though, so if I can just catch him right about here. Gotcha! Ancient stone found, gotta catch a snatcher. Whoa, hey, watch it! That's not fair, it was in the middle of something. All right, well, we're back here, that's fine. We'll get back over there really quick. Gotta be careful of that, I guess. Bad guys can still attack while we're celebrating. We're still looking for more bumblebees. There's a lot to do here in the little bathroom area. Seems like you know these areas just keep going and going. They're pretty huge, but I'll grab that one. Slippery one wet, they're gonna attack me again. Oh boy. That's another ancient stone found. And how do we get into the shower? I don't really see a way into there from here, but I'm sure there might be a spot where we can jump down. In the meantime, though, got a little sponge over here. We can hop on top to grab more watches. Whoa. Oh, are they super bouncy? Is that the idea? How did I get height off of that one so much? I'm not sure, maybe I just crouch jumped and didn't realize that there's another checkpoint for us as we get on top of this toilet. There we go. Is there more up here? I can't quite go into this window, right? Sort of, <laughs> but it doesn't really lead anywhere. What does this one say? Although most switches are simply belly flopped, R1, sometimes they need a little more coercion. Oh, whoa, so we're turning on the sink. Overflow in the whole bathroom here. Oh my. Whoa, the whole place is filled up. That's crazy. So if I spin this one, does it drain the water? It didn't do anything. I guess not. So it's just permanently all filled up like this. We'll have to be careful then. It seems like they can swim pretty well though, so maybe not too much to worry about. Can hit this one though, that didn't really do anything. So, just need to get back up. There we go. Pizza in the bathtub? Seems a little silly. Get all soggy. All right then, so let's grab that right there. And is there any, oh, there's definitely at least some food to grab, which I might as well. Here, gotta, like this. Is there anything else in here? I guess not, so. Hey, just some, some quick health. Now how do I get out of here? Oh boy, come on, come on. Ooh, almost ran out of air there. Not have been good. Okay, so there's a little bit more to grab this way, I think, right? Yep, right up here we got this thing and, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Knocked the mug into the water. Oh yeah, there's these poles that we can climb though. They were saying about that. So we can grab that, no problem, and then start spinning over here. So, let's see if I can't make this jump. Oh man, oh, I just barely did. That was cool though. And then same deal over here, we can also get another key. So I'll grab that, we're up to three keys out of five. I think we're just good to head down here then. Some more health for us if we need it. I guess that one spider that was down here is gone now. My problem is we swim really slow. I feel like there, there should be a button to swim a little bit faster than this. Uh, because now I gotta go back up. I don't know if we'd be able to make it in time. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. A little concerning how slow we sw swim. I'll grab some of the extra stuff around here. After we do though, is there any way to drain this stuff? I don't think so. We could just, is how it is now. Come on, I got it, I got it. Cool, so we'll go back up real quick. Come on. Got it. And then go right back down so that we can just get this last one and then maybe the food. 
But after that, I think that's really everything in the bathroom. I didn't see anything else to grab, so done a pretty good job so far. Just gonna swim all the way back up here. Come on, come on. And got it. Cool. So I guess we just gotta get out of here now. Ready? There you go. Luckily we can jump super high. And there's still some more stuff to do over here. Oh, oh, and there you are. Here we go. Gotcha, that was actually a really good jump. All right then, hello. Well done for finding me. My wrist-mounted time machine allows for much more accurate re-entry coordinates. I promise we'll sort Amy's navigation out when we get a moment. I don't know what that means, but cool. All right, well we get the ancient stone fan. The water looks nice, no? Agua fresca. All right. I'll grab that, and then we're heading back over here. Grab some extra stuff. So what happens if I hit this one? Will it fill up even more? I guess not. We've reached our capacity. There's another one. Phew, found it. Sorry that you you don't re-enter the, the stream with the time machine, but we just have to uh, have time to improve on the prototype while Doc is still at large. Just hop in and we'll head back to the space between time. Okay, so we'll do that soon. So I guess that's technically like the end of the level, but there were some other places we could get to. I wanna at least help the bumblebees and stuff, but will I have the ability to do that from here? I wonder if maybe I was supposed to do this part last. Uh, we'll look around a little bit and see what else we can discover. So I think it was right up here. Come on, come on. Got it. Okay, this is where we were before, sort of. So I should be able to get around a bit more from here, right? Got it, got it. And we'll duck and jump like that. Oh no, we're trying to get up here if we can. Much better. But where do I go from here? Oh, right over this way, gotcha. So now we're back here. So I guess that's like the basement bathroom or something. So now we're back on the main floor. And then we'll get back to the living room to see what else we can find. There's gotta be maybe like a few more bumblebees, definitely a couple other places we can climb up to. And this level is just really fun to explore, so I definitely don't mind. On top of this little, there's more pizza, pizza all over the place. It's my favorite food too, but you gotta be clean, more cleanly with it. Oh, here's a bumblebee behind the TV. So I'll help you out, that's our fourth one. Ah, oh, couldn't quite make that jump. But another key over here too, so I guess it works out. Hmm. And what was the button for, oh yeah, this right here. And obviously we still have plenty more to find, so. I shouldn't worry about it too much just yet, but maybe when we're scrounging around for the last of them. Grab that. What's going on over here? Okay, this is where we just were before, so sort of made a full circle. We'll get over here and grab whatever this is. It's like a safe. Aha, a safe. Looks like it's locked tight. Five keys should do the trick though. Okay, so if we can find one more key, we can open up that. That'd be great. So looking around a little bit more for all that should be good. We gotta get back up here though. I haven't been on the couch yet, so there's bound to be a few more collectibles here. I think we slammed this before. Yeah, and that opened up over there. Gotcha. Odd place to have a, a vent opening button is on your couch, but I mean, it's not my house, so why do I worry? Oh wow, so there's the castle right outside the house there. Interesting. Interesting neighborhood, for sure. Is there anything in the cupboard we can open up? I don't think so. So that seems to be it for that side. I can get over here. Grab that. This one, those ones. Pretty good. And there is a shelf over here that we might just be able to flutter over to. I don't know if I'm going at it backwards, but hey, if it works, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, maybe this will open the door? That'd be perfect. It does. That's gonna connect a lot more of the house. Really nice. Break open a bunch of that, and then heading back down here, seeing some other pictures of Clive and Wrench there. And then there's a green one right here I can definitely grab. That's another three of them. So we're really getting close to all of them now, or at least having all of them collected. So I guess I gotta get over this way. Super Indie Carts, <laughs> interesting game name. So I guess it might be a little kart racer, that's fun. Okay, and I wanna jump up on top of the TV. 
There's nothing over there actually, interesting. So, oh, up here though I see a, another stone, but a scary spider, gotcha. So this is ancient stone found a web of highs. Got that, and this is only two more ancient stones left to find. And then in here, a couple more of these. So, so far so good. Where is our next thing at? Up that way. Huh. Okay, we'll look around for that later. If this door's open, I definitely wanna get around to it and check out more of the kitchen, because there's at least one more bumblebee to find. Where could that have been? Oh no, I don't know if I wanna be in that. Up there, there's a few more, because I sort of went at this part backwards, I remember now. All right, jump, jump, spin, got it. And there's the last bumblebee, so I can save you. No problem. Oh, they're all back together. Nice little family. And we're only missing six more of the little things, so that's pretty good. Yeah, you can already see they have a stone ready and waiting for us. Let's grab that one. Okay, I'm flying over. And boom, we made it. So, ancient stone found, sting operation. Can I talk to you guys again? It says I can, but it's not letting me do that. Oh, over here, there's a few more. How did I miss these? So that's one. There's another, so we're only missing two more in total. I must have missed them somewhere. Oh, there's the key, and there's the last two of them. Okay, so this might be a tricky jump to make. I might be better off yet going over there. Let's see that really quickly. And we gotta go on to the blades of the fan, which seems, whoa, pretty challenging. I don't know if I can manage that one. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see. Try this again. Oh no, oh, I got it, I got it. And then, I'm, yeah, I'm supposed to be on the little spinny part of the fan. It slows you down a lot to make it easier, which is actually pretty useful. Okay, ready, and boom, we got it. So that should be every watch, and then there's the last stone. So we actually did a great job finding everything. We just gotta get down there and get at them. Very cool. And then after that, we can go back into the bathroom and I guess leave the level. All right, let's give that a try then. So if we run all the way over here, I can grab this, and that is ancient stone found safe as houses. Cool, so let's go all the way back in the bathroom. It was 100% complete, timeline fully restored. That's awesome. So it was right down here. Just like that. It might take us a moment to get through this though. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, if tapping the bundles doesn't really seem to make us swim any faster or anything. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go, I had to hold R1 or L1, I forgot about that. Now I got it. Okay, so I just have to get all the way back up to where we were. All right, we got here, so we should just be able to leave the level from here and go back to the space between time. Whoa. So I'm glad we got our first level done 100% here. It was a really fun one to explore too, so yeah, lots of interesting action happening in this 3D platformer. Down we go. So we made it through all of that. And I guess I would open up the next area next to it, the uh, the Great Wen. Cool. Do you have anything else to say? I guess not. So, yeah, there was our first little look at Clive and Wrench. We got our first level done, um, the Bunny I Shrunk the Chimp. If we wanted to continue playing the game, the next one, like I said, was the Great Wen, which I guess might be sort of like a early 1900s theme. But I guess, you know, the, oh no, I'm stuck. There we go. Those are different places from different parts of time and I guess different boss fights to take on too. That could be really cool. So definitely let me know if you'd like to see more of this game. Maybe we can consider turning it into a full series. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.